Building apps with React Native is easier than ever given all the AI tools, but only a few truly stand out. And today we're diving into three that actually caught my eye. What's up React Native friends and welcome back to another app review where I inspect your applications, hopefully all built with React Native. In today's episode, we're gonna look at three of your applications. There were like 20 or 30 submissions. I really need to do like probably a weekly show on this, but we're gonna look at a little game at an app with AI integration and a super popular booking application. And as always, we will not look at like, is this a great app idea? No, we're gonna look at the two, three things that like are bad in this application and that are probably really, really good. So we can all learn from these applications. And without further ado, I would say, let's dive right into them. All right, first step of the day is from Dayon Moon. You might know him from the React Native community. He's creating epic things, uh, really great packages and submissions and I saw this video and I just had to give it a try. So the app we're looking at is called Neon City City Runner. It is available both on iOS and Android. So let's check it out. Here we go, Neon City. I would like to access my data here, whatever. For the moment, let's, oh, that's cool. I haven't seen that one. Uh, although, oh, what is this? I don't like that at all. How can I even close that? All right, at least you hear the sound, uh, hopefully, of this application. It looks like I have to click here to continue to the app, and I will also mute the sound for the moment. So let's continue to the app. So here we are, Neon City, normal rhythm or ranking, and I can also disable the sound here so I can turn on my volume. Let's try normal first. Oh, nice, we got nice animations. So I think this is a game I have to play, and I have to, like, swipe into the right directions. Um, is uh, probably shouldn't do. Should I do the red ones? Okay, there was no introduction, so I'm not sure exactly what I need to do. Uh, but I feel like I'm doing a good job here. Uh, isn't there like these dancing games where you have to like do stuff and then left, right, and uh, is that correct? Also, do you have some like life? What if I just do like random stuff? Am I going to fail? I'm just not getting any score if I do this. Okay, I understand. Okay, um, okay. so what else? Down here we have a flame and continue. It doesn't look like I can use that, um, but this is so far pretty cool. Uh, actually, I would probably like to have the sound again. I think with, light, with, with the sound it would be even better. Okay, if I pause, we saw this. This is so cool. Like, I picked this because I really wanted to showcase an app and, um, Although this is like just one mode you can play, it is a great example of what's possible with React Native. So my time should run out now and we should see another screen, time over, okay, this gives me uh, more of the, I'm not really a big fan of all these ads to be honest, but I'm definitely a fan of like the presentation, the transitions and the stuff going on in this application. You see like when the button shrings, this is so cool. Um, I'm placed one, I thought that was like a, uh, other list. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, everything here has a sound. I really hope the microphone is able to pick this up. I'll just turn up the volume. <laughs> because the background is really cool. If I now use rhythm... Okay, that's not coming yet. But if I use normal... Let's try... You here? I'm on fire. There should be like flames coming up because I'm so good at this game. Oh man, I'm getting too excited about this. I <laughs> need to mute this. Okay, so in all honesty, this is a great game. Um, it has only this one mode, uh, and it's probably not becoming like the the flappy birds of iOS. But from what you can see, this is once again a great showcase for just showing like the boundaries of React Native. As far as I know, Dayon used a bunch of cool technologies, great Expo Stack by Dan, uh, reanimated software mention, of course, the gesture handler, and also React Native Skia for um, different uh, animations here on this screen. So he actually unlocked that fire button. I didn't get that, but you can do this, of course. Check it out, Neon City City Runner, and of course, give Dayon also a follow on Twitter because you're gonna see epic tweets from him over there as well. The second app today is called Waywise. It's also available here on X Waywise City, an iOS city guide for 2024. 
Um, this looks really like a super clean application. It's using some AI in the background. So I'm really excited to get into this. Let's give it a try way wise. Um, I kind of like this. I really like this. So the app, by the way, opened up, booted really, really quickly. And there was like no intro screen, nothing. It jumped straight into like focusing the text input and opening up the keyboard. So I'm like thrown into this, go ahead and search because this seems to be the important functionality. So I will definitely do this. Um, also, I can just click on Munich because that sounds good. So let's click on Munich here. And that brings up sort of a modal overlay. Honestly, um, yeah. I don't know how I feel about that modal overlay because there's like no X and I don't know. I sometimes feel trapped in these screens, but it looks like we now have a tap bar here at the bottom, which uses like a blurry fading background. Okay. So anyway, the page is cool. We have the exchange rate. Uh, I can click on that. Um, okay. That brings me exactly right to another tab. I can click on the time that won't change anything. It has the weather. It's pretty cool that, um, by the way, there's a problem. If I scroll, make sure if you have like a scroll bar and then a custom tab bar, sometimes you need some padding or margin at the bottom because otherwise you hide the stuff down here. Okay. How can I like get back to the screen we had before? If I use the tab bar, I get to different elements here. I can see the transport and this is pretty, all pretty cool. Um, also, this is quite nice, a nice change, like a swipe tap view. I was looking for that recently. Uh, and we also, of course, have the map. But again, how can I get back to like the initial screen? Because that was pretty cool. Maybe if I click, okay, now I bookmarked it. Okay, when I click into the search, I come back to this screen. I would also love to leave it. Okay, so there are recently generated guides. There are a couple of pages here. I really like the big cards up here, which gives you like quick access to something. What happens if I click the filter? Okay, it brings up a settings model. Uh, we got, okay, nice little, this brings up, no, not really interested in that. I don't want to sign in right now. Okay, and whenever we come back to that page, the uh, search is focused as well. I would probably also, you notice, there's like stuff behind it. I would probably scroll down the page automatically when I focus that. So that whenever we focus that field, the page looks like it's in a clean state. Otherwise you have like the input and then you're something like this. And oh, I don't know. I don't like that too much. Okay. What happens if I go to London? I don't know. It still seems to be free as well. Um, so on Munich, it said free. It doesn't say free here. Uh, what is Tucson in the United States? I've never been there. Uh, okay, so AI generated content. Well, it shows pretty much the same things. Um, had a nice integration of maps, really. I like the navigation around you. Okay, we finally hit that paywall. Um, and of course, we have a nice model here. At the bottom, I can sign in and I can subscribe from something. That's actually a nice presentation of a model. It's clean. I probably would add some more visual information to a model. I just watched a couple of um, paywall models I've seen. So I think some some more information could help out here in like what you're missing out and what you get. There's also a page about like basic phrases. Uh, it doesn't seem to work here. So I don't know if there are like no phrases for English speaking. Let's try Porto and then go to the translation. And okay, they're actually a couple here so okay this is a nice feature i can play these and these are of course locked i think the idea behind this application is pretty cool because with all the ai stuff going on you can definitely uh, create more fine-tuned ai applications that help you go um around so um I don't think I need a paid subscription right now. I mean, I got my Munich probably. What if I want to go to Berlin, something that's not in the list. So if I go to Berlin, Germany, okay, that's probably still in the list. What if I go to my hometown of Münster? So that definitely not included. So uh, no cities. Fine. It would be really cool if it now like on the fly or on my request, generate a travel guide for that city. And I'm pretty sure with AI, with weather data, languages, money, that should be possible. So maybe that's an idea for the Waywise upgrade in the future. But beyond that, if you're looking for a travel guide, give this a try, support Max. 
Um, the app is built with React Native Expo and the backend API is written in Go and also Superbase for the authentication and DB. Cool stack, I haven't used Go, but give it a try, it feels pretty good. Third application of the day is called New Night. It was submitted by Gunnar who is from Iceland and he's also the front end tech lead and co-founder at Nuna. They also seem to have a nice web page and I think this is an impressive app. I'm actually kind of sad because I feel like I wasn't critical enough today and I don't know if I can be <laughs> that critical in this application, but we're gonna try. It has amazing ratings. I've never seen it before. He just recommended, oh nice, yeah, okay, that's going to be hard to criticize. Book all your services and tables in one place. Uh, we got a nice transition, yeah, oh my, this is going to be challenging. Okay, everything is good. We have to be really careful. We're gonna try and find something that's not great in this application, <laughs> but let's see. I wanna try and log in as always. All right, edit the phone number verification. Uh, we know you wanna see companies, I don't know. We'll just click continue because I don't read it usually. So uh, hello while using the app. Um, I'm, yeah, I will not use this and, oh, I wanted to see the magician file. But anyway, here we are. Um, this seems to be like the dashboard of my app. I kind of wish this was like the iOS big title thing where it moves into the header, but uh, let's not be too fast. We got three tabs. Uh, this immediately opens up like a story view and tells me what I can do in here. Of course, I'm not reading it, so I'm just skipping through it. Um, recommended for you. Do I really need a men's haircut? I noticed that I have like a patch up here and I'm getting older, so that makes me a bit sad. Okay, um, he also said to switch your location within the app to Reykjavik, Porto or Prague. Where can I do this? Let's try again here. Um, oh, I can do it probably up here. So let's use Porto. Okay, uh, Porto, Portugal. There seems to be probably more barber shops. Okay, I can now go into a shop and I can... Oh, I like this one up there. Um, oh, what is this? They implemented so much functionality in here. There's like a story view for that shop. If the shop really doing this itself, I just wanted to show you that like the, uh, this cool header. Oh my, there's so much going on. Look at this. We got like the parallax stuff going on. We have some fading white going on. And if I reduce it, uh, we have at the top, a top bar coming in. That's like, chaka matching this. Ooh, this is cool. Ooh. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, I wanted to criticize things. Mm, can't do, can't do on this screen. This header transition is A+, plus, really. You need to share this. Gunnar, if you watch this, please share it in the comments if there's like a package for this. Honestly, that looks amazing. Um, beyond that, I don't know. I can get a massage. Um, all these shops seem to have like a little story. If you click on them, uh, it displays like a preview. And I think that's pretty nice. It, Jumps into maps, yeah, I expected that. And I can also now book an appointment here. Um, I don't speak that language, so it's going to be hard, but these are really, even like in the smallest possible place here, watch this. Um, okay, I clicked here. Okay, you see that animation of the check mark? Wow, that is great. That is really great. Um, so definitely, if you live in Porto Reykjavik or what? Porto Reykjavik or Prague, this seems to be a great app. Um, I definitely like the use of like modals, things coming up here and there. Um, I, for some reason, I don't like that view. I, I, I think I don't like the images. They look too, too boring, too old school. I can't really tell. Um, so under book, I can book like my services here and then I would probably find something. It's also an interesting concept of the navigation bar with like the rounded edges here. It works quite nice visually here, but once you dive into a details page and then you go back, you see that it's actually, it's all fake, right? All the pages just have a container um, where you can see it down here. So it's not exactly like around a tab bar. It's more like a container on every screen that gives you that impression. So uh, that shows when you do like the back transition. Also, it follows pretty nicely the iOS um, behavior. So if I go to discover and then press the tab again, it will focus the search bar I hear up here. I haven't noticed this before in application, but it's a really nice behavior to automatically like focus the important part on that page. Uh, and that works definitely great. So to recap, 
I found one thing that we can criticize on this page, uh, which are like the page containers, which look interesting, like a glimpse into that page. But beyond that, Nuna is definitely a great application. Check it out if you live in Reykjavik, Prague or Porto. And I don't know if there are like more cities coming in the future. Uh, it definitely deserves all the 8.5K ratings it has on iOS and is once again another great showcase for React Native and the best apps that you can build. All right, and that's it for today. I hope I wasn't too kind or too critical in these applications, but I think all of them had something really cool. The first one, the game, was an interesting showcase for what's possible with React Native and React Native Skia, animation, sounds, all of that going on. I really had a lot of fun playing that game. The second app with AI generated content is a great idea and I think there's a lot more possible. The only thing that confused me was like the navigation and this is just another reminder to really test your application with other people because for whatever reason I got confused when I like clicked there and then I was on a completely different page I just had a strange feeling maybe other people won't feel like that but that was my impression and the third application was of course really really well developed it feels like there's a bigger team behind this application it's not just a solo or indie developer and a side project this seems to be a real company so Definitely heads off to Gunnar and the rest of his team for creating a stunning React Native application. If you also want to build epic React Native apps, check out galaxies.dev and our plus plan. On the plus plan, you get personalized support, you can join bi-weekly coachings and you will definitely also build epic React Native apps very, very soon. Before you leave, make sure you check out this video. It's about 10 React Native tips that you should definitely know about. So. Go watch that and also leave a like and subscribe to this channel for React Native content every week. And I will hopefully catch you in the next one. So until then, happy coding, Simon.